Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Control Panel Utilities Part 2. Today we're going to discuss some of the control panel utilities that are available in all versions of Windows. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. We're going to begin with the Display Display Settings applet. This utility can control different display settings that the user may adjust. You can adjust resolution, calibrate color, change display settings, adjust clear text type. Those are just some of the settings that you can change. You do need to use caution if you're using a flat panel display. They do have a native resolution. If you change the resolution, you may have a distorted image. The user accounts utility is used to manage or add users to a PC. You can also manage your credentials. You can manage file encryption certificates from here. You can configure advanced user profiles and properties or change the environmental variables for the system. The folders option utility is of special importance to a technician. And I will get to that here in just a moment. But from here, you can manage the default behavior of folders or files. There are three tabs, General, View, and Search. From the Generals tab, you can make adjustments to the basic behavior of files and folders. From the View tab, you can establish how files and folders are represented. The user can unhide protected files and folders from here. That's the important one for a technician. The Search tab establishes how the operating system searches folders. The systems utility is another important one for the technician. From this utility, information about the system is available, like the operating system that's used, the processor, and the amount of RAM. It also gives access to additional applets or utilities, like performance. That's an extension of the task manager and gives a more detailed view of system performance. From the remote settings utility, that's where you can set the options for remote access to the system. The system's protection utility allows for system restore. Now let's briefly discuss Windows Firewall. It is a utility for system protection. It's a software-based firewall that protects against malicious code. It controls traffic into and out of a PC. Windows Firewall should be active unless another firewall product is present and active. Now let's discuss the Power Options utility. This applet is used to adjust power usage. The user or administrator can, it, can set the power profiles for any given situation. There are several different preset power plans. These set the PC's power usage profile for a given power scenario. Now let's discuss several of the behaviors that you can adjust. We will begin with Hibernate. This sets the PC's behavior when idle for a specified amount of time. It saves more power than the sleep mode as the contents of RAM is placed onto the disk drive. Then there's sleep mode, also called suspend or standby. This sets the PC's behavior when it's been idle for a specified amount of time. It has faster recovery than Hibernate as trickle power is kept to the RAM and the contents of RAM are preserved. Now that concludes this session on control panel utilities. We briefly discussed the display display settings utility, the user accounts applet, the folders option applet, the systems utility, Windows firewall, and the Power Options utility. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and we will do it again soon.